Hello everyone, we are discussing photoelectric effect and we have developed this equation. Where E is H nu, frequency of the incident photon, phi is your work function. and minimum frequency which you can have so that an electron can come out is nu naught k max so this is something which we developed in the previous lecture now let's talk about stopping potential this was the setup for photoelectric effect Photons they arrive at this plate having an energy of H nu and then this is the emitter plate from the emitter plate electrons start moving in this direction and then they are received by this plate suppose you earth this emitter plate Earthing means potential of emitter plate is what? Zero. Then we need to find potential of the receiver plate so that no electrons can reach over here. And if electrons do not reach, then there will be no current. Reading of emitter will be then zero. This potential is called what? Stopping potential. Now, you know that these electrons they are moving with different kinetic energies. The ones who are moving with Ke max, if you can stop these electrons, then all the ele other electrons which are moving slowly, you can automatically stop them. So our aim is to stop an electron which is moving with maximum kinetic energy if it cannot reach this plate there will be no current and then this potential V will be called Vs write down the definition of stopping potential first Potential of the receiver plate, potential of the receiver plate with respect to emitter plate for which an electron moving with maximum kinetic energy an electron moving with maximum kinetic energy cannot reach the receiver plate is called stopping potential In this situation, in this situation, reading of reading of a meter will be zero. 
in this situation reading of a meter will be zero. This ammeter plate is earth means potential is zero. You need to find potential of this plate in terms of K max so that there is no current in the circuit. Let's see how many of you can answer this question because this is now coming from electrostatics. Think about it. I'm giving you 30 40 seconds. Let's see how many of you can answer Vs. Let me give you a hint. I see no response. Use conservation of mechanical energy. Electrons are moving with maximum kinetic energy. These electrons are negatively charged. If potential of the stopping plate, receiver plate, if you keep it positive, then there is no way you can stop these electrons. They will be attracted towards the receiver plate. So you need to provide negative potential to this thing with respect to ammeter plate because it's already at zero potential. So if potential of this becomes negative enough, then negative and negative it will be repelled, the electron will be repelled and will be ultimately stopped from reaching this place. Now something like this is always done with the help of what? COME, conservation of mechanical energy. There are two types of energy we are talking about, kinetic energy and potential energy but the formula of potential energy which you need from electrostatics is not k q1 q2 upon r this formula is used when both charges are what point charges it's a plate so what is the other formula which we use q multiplied by v well this is sufficient hit after this, you should be able to answer this question. Look here. C O M E. Conservation of mechanical energy. Kinetic energy initial, potential energy initial, kinetic energy final plus potential energy final. The electron which we are interested in is moving with maximum kinetic energy when it is at this place. This is the initial place and this is your final place. I for initial place. What is its kinetic energy? Its kinetic energy is K max. K max. What is the formula for potential energy? Q multiplied by V. What is Q? Minus E. It's an electron. What is potential of this place? Earth. Potential is 0. Multiplied by 0. This is equal to what? Final kinetic energy. What is the name? Stopping potential. When it reaches this place, it should stop. If it stops, that means final kinetic energy is what? Zero. What is final potential energy? Q multiplied by potential, which is Vs. So this is the only thing I expected from you and not a single person could answer this. Vs 
is coming k max divided by e with a negative sign your solving potential is what negative an important result for school as well as competitive examinations put on this now got a graph of vs and incident frequency nu vs and nu you can expect this type of thing in board examination graph of stopping potential versus frequency of incident photon try to draw this graph and then once i have produced an answer if you have drawn the same thing you will write yes in the comment box i'm giving you 30 seconds for this Vs and nu. Minus one upon e k max. What is k max? H nu minus h nu naught. Your Vs is coming minus of H upon E nu plus H upon E nu naught. Remember E is positive 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. What is charge of the electron? Minus of E. So this number E is a positive number. This is y equals to mx plus c. You can see that your intercept is positive and slope is negative. How do you draw a graph like this? This is the graph. This place is what H nu naught divided by E. Vertical axis is Vs. This is theta, slope is tan of theta, which is coming minus of h upon e, minus of h upon e. Now, is there anyone who has plotted something like this? If you have done this, then write down yes in the coming box. Remember, the thing is not yet complete. I'll ask you a question. The graph is not yet complete. But if you have drawn something like this, then write down yes in the comment box. Only two are saying yes. Well, others, if you find these things difficult, 
I'll suggest you to work hard on equation of line and things like these because uh, these graphical questions they are very easy for competitive examination and they are very useful for board examination now tell me do I need the complete graph or I need the upper portion of the graph or the lower portion of the graph which portion I am interested in upper lower or the complete one answer this past well almost everybody is saying upper what is the vertical axis vs what is vs negative and therefore this portion is useless we are interested only in the lower portion for the lower portion vs will be negative Now tell me, this point corresponds to what? What is special about this point? Who will tell me? Well definitely Vs is 0 but I'm asking what is this point? This is what? New. What is this point? Nu naught. Cutoff frequency, which is also called threshold frequency. Minimum frequency, which starts what? Photoelectric effect. Now, how do you understand this? When electrons just start coming out if you remember the previous lecture let's say red photons for red photons that's the minimum frequency electrons just are able to leave the emitter plate they are just able to leave the emitter plate and therefore you don't need any stopping potential. Vs is what? Zero. But as you increase the frequency, green and blue, green photons and blue photons, then after paying a tax in the form of work function, they also carry some kinetic energy. And to stop that kinetic energy, stopping potential magnitude wise, magnitude wise increases. Magnitude. Graph is on the lower side because it should be negative. But look at this height, it is increasing. So your magnitude of stopping potential is increasing. So this is the graph of stopping potential and new. Note on this. Now answer this question. Write down the question. Intensity of incident light, intensity of incident light is increased, intensity of incident light is increased number one. Number one, by increasing 
by increasing number of photons by increasing number of photons for a given color second part by increasing frequency of incident light there are two ways you can increase the intensity what is the intensity basically energy which is falling on the ammeter plate so that energy you can increase by increasing the number of photons so in the first case you are increasing number of photons of let's say green color there are 10 photons of green colors for arriving initially and then you increase the number from 10 to let's say 1000 this is the first case in the second case you are increasing intensity by increasing energy of individual photons so initially they were coming red and then green and then blue so that's how you are increasing the intensity now the question is write down the question complete the question find out its effect on stopping potential find out its effect on stopping potential let's see how many of you will answer this question and there are two parts i need two answers Well, only two have tried to answer the question. In the first case, you are increasing intensity you are increasing number of photons M but you will keep your frequency same. So if you keep frequency same, if you keep frequency same, then your K max is not going to change. If K max doesn't change, then stopping potential also remains what? Same. I for intensity, you are increasing intensity by increasing number of photons and for number of photons frequency of the light is kept same let's say only green photons are arriving so when green photons are arriving the concept is something like this work function let's say is 10 joules energy of green photons h nu is 15 then k max is what 5 10 is wasted in the form of work function and 5 is the maximum kinetic energy an electron can move with now if you increase the number of photons then you know that Einstein says it's a one to one interaction if it's a one to one interaction then every electron can only receive 15 joules and therefore its maximum kinetic energy remains always what same new same it tells us that k max is same which tells us from this that your stopping potential is also what same this is the first part I try to answer the second part. What happens in the second part? Note down this. Look here. In the second part, we are increasing I by increasing frequency red green blue so that's how you're increasing the frequency initially it's a red photon 
then it becomes green then it becomes blue so that's why you're increasing energy of individual photons if you are increasing new if you are increasing new k max will increase so this time you found that k max increases if k max increases then mostly people say that stopping potential also increases so what i am saying is that if k max increases mostly people say that stopping potential will also increase but look at the negative sign because of the negative sign stopping potential decreases what is happening stopping potential let's say is minus 10 then it becomes minus 20 then it becomes minus 30 magnitude wise vs is definitely increasing if somebody says what is happening with magnitude of stopping potential 10 20 30 that is definitely increasing but vs with sign is decreasing this is something which is important if they are asking you magnitude then say it's increasing if they say stopping potential it is negative minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 vs is decreasing Note down everything and also these numbers. Now look here. If we plot a graph between I current stopping potential for this setup. capital I electrons are moving this way current is this way this is your intensity capital I for intensity This is asked and potential of this plate is Vs. Now let's start with a given frequency. For a given frequency, what you found that electrons are moving, there is a current. You're trying to increase intensity by keeping frequency same. Then that's how graph between I 
and Vs. If you draw a graph between I and Vs, then it looks like this. For a given intensity, let's call it I1. Remember, I1 is at new one for a given frequency. Green light is coming. You measure current through the emitter for, and then you increase the intensity of the green light. That means you are increasing the number of green photons. So that's how the graph looks. What is the graph? Vs at this particular value, let's call it Vs1. You can see that Vs1 is automatically negative. This side. Vs. I is 0. Suppose this is minus of 10 volts. You can also use these numbers for your understanding. Let's say this is minus 10 volts. So when potential of this is minus 10 volts, what do you found that green photons, when they interact with the electrons, the electron which is moving with maximum kinetic energy can be stopped with a potential of minus 10 volts. Now, if I make stopping potential positive, less negative, if you make it, if you make it less negative, more positive, that means you are attracting these electrons. As you attract these electrons, current increases. More electrons are able to reach and therefore your current increases. But then, if I, if I keep on increasing Vs, if I keep on making it positive, 10 volt, 20 volt, 30 volts, like this, then what is observed? After some time, you get a saturated current. Current no longer increases. And the reason is, suppose, 1 billion photons are 1 billion photons of green color. They arrive and reach this plate. Out of these 1 billion photons, suppose we say that 100 electrons come out. All these 100 electrons are stopped. And as I make Vs more positive, 10 electrons will be able to reach. When I make it more positive, 20, 30, 40 and so on. But then after a certain potential of receiver plate, as it becomes positive, all these 100 electrons are able to reach receiver plate. And therefore, all those 1 billion photons because of all those 1 billion photons, how many electrons came out? 100. Now all those 100 electrons are able to reach the receiver plate. This is the saturation number. And because of that, no further increase in electric current takes place. A given intensity I1 for a given frequency nu1. Now, next time what we did, we increase this intensity by increasing what? Frequency. So this time, we'll have frequency nu2. Green becomes blue. If green becomes blue, we have increased the intensity. Nu2 
is greater than mu1 and therefore i2 is also greater than i1. Always remember this form green, blue. From green, now you are sending what? Blue photons. As you send blue photons, they have more energy. They have more energy and therefore intensity is more. Now, suppose these again 1 billion photons of blue color interact with the electrons and let's again assume that 100 electrons come out. It will be a different number but for the time being we can say that 1 billion photons will emit 100 electrons. So if 100 electrons come out then these 100 electrons have more energy because of that they have more intensity. So if they have more energy you will have more K max. If K max increases then stopping potential decreases because of the negative sign. Magnitude wise it increases and your graph is going to start from this position Vs2 let's call it minus of 20 volts. This is minus 10. This becomes what? Minus 20. As such, storm potential has decreased because of the negative sign. But magnitude wise, it increases. When you make things positive, that's how the graph will look. In many books, you will find that they simply join all the curves over here. But it depends on the number of photons which are coming. And therefore, I have drawn these two things separately. The above one is for I2. Frequency is what new to. Lower one is I1. I for intensity is at new one. This is green. This is blue. That's how a graph between electric current, which you find with the help of ammeter and stopping potential develops. Do you understand everything in this graph? Yes or no? One of you is asking a concept of saturation current. I'll explain and you will write everything. Draw the graph and then we'll write few statements. Write down this point. When light of a given frequency, when light of a given frequency inside the bracket color, when light of a given frequency. is incident on the photoelectric plate this is your photoelectric plate is incident on the photoelectric plate electrons start moving electrons start moving with kinetic energies electrons start moving with kinetic energies starting from 0 up to k max starting from 0 up to k max When receiver plate, when receiver plate is at the stopping potential, 
when receiver plate is at the stopping potential no electrons can reach no electrons can reach it to reach the receiver plate and therefore current is zero current in the circuit is zero as we increase the potential as we increase the potential of the receiver plate as we increase the potential of receiver plate inside the bracket make it more positive make it more positive some electrons can reach some electrons can reach it and therefore current starts increasing and therefore current starts increasing but after some time but after some time as all the electrons after some time as all the electrons emitted by the photoelectric plate the emitter plate all the electrons emitted by the photoelectric plate are able to reach the receiver plate electric current electric current does not further increase and we say that and we say that a saturated current saturated means maximum current is flowing in the circuit I hope you understand the way the whole thing works. Put on this. Now, this uh, thing is basically the second part which I asked as a question. You can also mention that this is the explanation for the second part graphically. Now, plot a graph between I and V. Well, you can always write V or Vs, but you should prefer V. I mean, it's better if you erase this thing. This is what potential of this plate when potential is Vs1 this is the stopping potential so this V is the potential of receiver plate potential of the receiver plate you can call it this way so now if I draw a graph between I and potential of the receiver plate and I'm increasing the intensity at the same time I'm keeping my frequency same for two intensities I1 and I2 such that I2 is greater than I1 
plot a graph between i and v. Take help from this. This is the first part now. We are increasing in density. We are keeping frequency same. What will be the shape of graph? Try to answer this and then I will definitely teach you how to plot it. Look here. I current V potential of receiver plate This is the graph for I1. We are keeping frequency same. And we are increasing what? Intensity. If you are increasing intensity, that means you are increasing N. N means number of photons. So, Let's say 1 billion photons are coming and 100 electrons come out. If you are now sending 2 billion photons of green color, you're not changing the frequency. If you're not changing the frequency, but you are increasing the number and therefore intensity is increasing. But since you're not changing frequency, your Vs point is not going to change. Second graph will start from this, but it will be of slightly greater saturation current. But with 1 billion photons, you got 100 electrons. So as you make Vs more positive, all these 100 electrons reach the receiver plate. And then even if you keep increasing V, 100 electrons only reach and therefore current becomes what? Saturated. Now you increase the number of photons from 1 billion to 2 billion and now 200 electrons are coming. So as there are more number of electrons, there is a formula in electric circuit. I hope you remember I equals to N E A V D number of electrons. So as number of electrons increase, your saturation current also increases. So in this graph, your I2 is greater than I1, but E2 is E1. What is E2? Energy of individual photons. They are always what? Green and green. So for your understanding, for your understanding, you can always say that this is green this is also for green. The only thing which we have done is what? We have increased the number of photons. In the previous graph, if you wish, you can write the, the lower graph, you can write that green. In the upper one, you can call it blue. Vs is not going to change. Are you comfortable with this? Yes or no? Fast. Write down with this graph as frequency is kept same, as frequency is kept same, stopping potential will not change.
we are increasing intensity of light we are increasing intensity of light by increasing number of photons we are increasing intensity of the light by increasing number of photons and therefore more electrons more electrons come out and in and reach the receiver plate more electrons come out and reach the receiver plate thus increasing thus increasing saturation current thus increasing saturation current Now, a very one-liner question which can also be asked in photoelectric effect is if you increase the temperature of this plate. So normally what we think that if you increase the temperature of this plate, then the work function that phi, it should decrease. Basically phi is what the tax which you need to pay. As the electrons tries to leave the emitter plate, I told you that the plate becomes positive and pulls the electron towards itself. So if you increase the temperature, electron is going to move faster and it appears that it will be easier to pull it out. Well, definitely it will be easier. So the problem is that uh, the amount of energy we are talking about, they are very you, there is a very big difference between these energies. We can understand it in this form. So energy coming from the photons is uh, let's say 1000 joules. And if you increase the temperature, then you are increasing the energy by 10 to the power of minus 3 joules. 1000th of a joule. So the energy which photons they give it's kind of 1000, 10,000 joules and the energy which you increase of the electrons by raising the temperature is of 10 to the power of minus 3 joules. So there is hardly any change in that work function. It's like saying that uh, you need to have 1 million rupees to complete a task. And if I give you 100 rupees, then definitely it will be easier for you. But you know, it hardly makes any difference because you ultimately needed what? 1 million rupees. And I only gave you 100, 200, 500, 1000 rupees. So it doesn't serve the purpose. So what we say, if temperature of emitter plate or photoelectric plate is increased, then it has no effect on the work function. Write down the statement. Photoelectric effect in photoelectric effect work function work function is independent of the temperature work function is independent of the temperature in the next class we'll discuss about uh, particle nature of light and then we'll also start concept of atoms and all hold on this much and then you can leave Thank you very much.